Thanks for joining us today for another video from Howard Piano Industries. Um, we're, this uh, is going to actually be a series of videos that we're going to show you on how to restring a piano. Uh, this is a pretty big job, so that's why there's several different videos we're going to have that uh, go through the different steps of uh, replacing the strings um, in a piano. With a, with a piano, especially an older piano, the strings will wear out. Um, the bass strings wear out or uh, get worn sounding faster than the treble strings, but um, on an old piano. This is a piano that was restrung, oh, probably 10 or 12 years ago, roughly. Um, and uh, so I'm not going to actually show you the 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 uh, steps of of the actual stringing, but we we show some of that in some of the other videos that we've got. So, uh, but I'm just going to walk through all the different th steps and things that you're going to be um, watching and, and making note of, so that you're going through the right steps for the process. Um, so this is this is kind of an introduction, some things you want to look for before you. Um, move forward and, and uh, restringing it. Um, now the, th the different elements that you want to consider are first of all you want to evaluate the condition of the piano to see if um, you know if there's any repairs or anything like that that need to be done um, as part of the restringing process. Um, right here these right here where the strings run over are called the bridges you want to look at that and sometimes there will be cracks um, here where the strings run over it um, or there could be separations between the the bottom of the bridge and the top of the soundboard um, so you want to check for that uh, the, so this is the uh, this is the main bridge right here and then there's the the bass bridge which is up here that the bass strings run over um, so you want to check that. You want to check the condition of the soundboard, which is um, the whole piece of wood underneath the, s underneath the strings and um, underneath the plate to see if there are major cracks or even minor cracks that, that would maybe need to be repaired um, as it, while you have the strings off. Uh, this piano had some very small cracks that uh, we did repair on. Um, uh, when we did the restringing, and uh, they're holding right now. I don't see that the cracks have separated over time, which is a is a good sign. Um, so those are some things you want to watch. You want to check underneath to see, um, you know, if the ribs are separating or anything like that, that uh, you want to be aware of before you uh, delve into the process of replacing the strings. Now, the different elements that you're going to want to be aware of are the strings themselves, you've got uh, treble wire or plain wire, you know, in this piano it's all the way from down here all the way up to the top, um, you know, and that's the non-wound strings. So you just buy larger coils, which we'll go, go into in a future video as far as the details of that. And then there's the bass strings, okay, which are this whole section down here, and they usually run over um, or over s the string over the the plain wire strings are at least a section of them. Uh, so and those those all have to be custom made, um, you know, by a, a string maker. So um, and we offer those available as well. Uh, and then the other element is the main element is the tuning pins. Usually, if you're going to replace the strings, you want to replace the the tuning pins as well. One other um, structural element you want to um, check on is also is the pin block. Okay, so now you can't see the pin block in this piano or even in most pianos because it's underneath the plate. Um, but it, the pins go through through the plate and into a pin block. Okay, so there's a piece of laminated wood underneath the plate that the pins go into. You can see the bottom of the pin block if you take the um, fall, board, fall board and the action out and then look inside from underneath. Even then it's a little bit difficult because there's not a lot of room, but if you take a flashlight and shine it up in there you can usually see the um, the bottom of the pin block. And you want to see if there's like really bad cracks in it, you know, because then it may be something that the pin block also needs replaced. Okay, but um, but if the pin block isn't fairly, and you, you know, if, if you, once you take everything out and um, 
you can, you know, consider taking the plate out, especially if the if the soundboard needs repaired. Um, but that's that's a whole under, another undertaking that uh, we're not going to go into detail in this series of videos. Um, but uh, but then if you know if you take that out, then you can see the top of the pin block and a, get a better idea of the condition of the pin block. But uh, you do want to check the tightness of the tuning pins because um, that's going to determine, you know, if, if you're keeping the same pin block, that'll determine. Uh, what size pins you're going to go up to. Okay, so if the pins are all fairly tight, you know, quite tight, you know, a normal amount of tight, you know, if you're using a torque wrench and you, they measure, you know, 120 or higher, you know, that's that's fairly tight. Um, then uh, when you when you replace the tuning pins, which it's always a good idea if you're restringing to replace the tuning pins because usually the the old tuning pins look look bad and it's good to go up a size to just get some more tightness in those pins but if they're if they're fairly tight like I say 120 um, inch pounds or, or higher um, then then you want to go up you can just go up one size larger okay so if you've got size 2 tuning pins uh, then you can go up to size 3 if you have size 3 you can go up to size 4 uh, but if they're below that or looser than that you know on the loose side then you want to go up two sizes okay if they're like really loose then that's maybe a sign that the pin block may need to be replaced um, when you're going through this so um, just uh, just keep that in mind so you as you take the pins out you're going to want to measure one with a micrometer to see how many thousandths of an inch um, the size of the pins are okay there's going to be a slight variance so you might want to measure several of them across the range of the piano to see what size the pins are um, and then as, as you and then um, as you take the strings off you're going to measure all of them and we'll talk more about that in the in the next video but to those are those are the basic elements um, you know some other things you may want to do as part of the uh, prep process or that you should do is um, make sure that you take note of any felts okay um, sometimes in here there's um, there's felts that that are that are there this one didn't have any so I didn't put any back in it uh, sometimes there's felt strung between these strings that's stringing felt um, sometimes there's um, hitch pin punchings. This one had just hitch pin punchings in the base section, so I don't know if you can see these red circles here, but those are hitch pin punchings, and so we put them back in that section, but the rest of the piano didn't have them, so we, we didn't put them in. Um, you know, so pretty much, you know, if you, you want to replace the felts that were there originally, unless you have some reason or other to do something differently, but um, in most cases that's that's what you want to do. Um, this one also had uh, these bars here. You want to make sure you make note of the position of those so that you can put those back um, where they were originally. Um, sometimes they'll have the movable bars, uh, which uh, I've got another piano that has those, um, and you want to make note of where those are. And sometimes they'll have um, individual movable bars here and this one has a brass bar here on each of the on each of these sections that um, you want to make sure you get back in the same position that they were before you took the strings off so lots of notes that you want to take as before you start um, taking the strings off of the piano um, you know and there's things like damper felts and so forth that um, you could be replaced as well while you're in the process of um, restringing because oftentimes those need, and of course the action's a whole nother thing but this is just uh, regarding the the replacement of the strings so those are some things to to think about as and uh, be aware of and, and prepare for as you um, go into and, and uh, start the process of restringing our website is howardpianoindustries.com